go. Come out to the channel. Taking up slack. Baby. Woo, that is a fat one right there and a gorgeous looking fish. Come here. Come here, pretty fun. Ooh. Get you up here right. Wait. Isn't that something? Gorgeous coloration. Look at fat. See ya. Woo! It's without a doubt one of my favorite times of the year. It's the pre spawn time, and you can catch some of the biggest bass of the year right now. For the past couple of tips, I've talked about location and cold fronts and how they affect the location and the behavior of these fish. It's important to remember at this time of the year, the photo time is considerably less, meaning there are more dark hours than bright ones. And naturally, darker hours are gonna be much colder than the daytime hours. But once the nighttime temperatures stay above, let's say 45 to 50 degrees, three or four nights straight, the daytime temperatures are gonna normally average at least 20 degrees warmer. When this occurs, what you'll see is a positive and noticeable difference in the bass's activity level. The activity level of bass as cold-blooded creatures is a function of water temperature. Unlike us, fish like the bass maintain a constant body temperature and their metabolism must adjust to the temperature in their watery environment. So it's not surprising that bass can detect extremely small changes in water temperature. Appreciating how water temperature affects bass activity is important to the success of the angler. Yes, yes sir. Come on, baby. Fat butter balls. Woo, strength. Slide up here on my hand. Open that mouth. Ah. Little, short, fat, pretty fish. that stomach. <laughs> that's what we're out here to do, is catch these things, and that's what we're doing. See you later. You know, many fishermen think that the shallowest part of a lake will warm up the quickest, but this is very misleading. For being shallow, is no guarantee that it's gonna warm up the fastest. Tell you what, let's look at this illustration, and I think it will show and give you a better idea why this isn't so. As stated, the areas to warm the quickest will be the protected pockets, coves, and areas on the north side of the lake. Cold north winds chill surface waters, creating a wind current that pushes the cold surface water into the south shore. Warm winds that prevail from the south push north, warming the north shore, plus the angle of the sun is lower on the horizon during this period. Therefore, there's much more sunlight and less shade on the north bank, which can increase water temperatures anywhere from three to six degrees or more. As air temperatures increase toward mid-spring, the added sunlight and warmth in these areas enrich the water, the plant life, and the plankton, which provides food for forage. In a clear water environment, you'll usually find the water to appear somewhat greener, which indicates a bloom has taken place as a result of the warmer water. Oh, baby. There he comes.
Whoa. Come here. Come here, pretty thing. Whoop. Turn you around, you bet. bet. Ate my bait up. Mm, mm, mm. Time to say bye. Always time for the bye. There he goes. Boy, what a day. In closing, let me say that the pre-spawn period can be shorter than a month in some areas. In others, it could last two or more months. The timing and the length of this period depends on temperature, geographic location, and other natural influences. Remember, fish movement and feeding patterns may not always be predictable, especially during this period. But the more you go, the more you'll learn about the pre-spawn stage and what triggers the bass to respond to locational patterns, temperature, certain lures, and presentation. Once you've combined this knowledge, well, you will have reached a level that separates the expert angler from the average. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time. And I'm gonna see if I can catch just one more.